In view of the European elections and for the first time, European scientists unite to demand more investment in science. The voices of the 27 EU academies of science have been heard in Brussels asking for more research and more education. Current challenges could benefit from a strong, open and free scientific research. I can understand that governments are pressed by the different emergencies, but we have to go beyond the emergencies and to say that we, we need to gather the sign that we have to invest at least the 3% of GDP in research and education is the way to say that we cannot simply follow the emergencies, but we work together to build a solid Europe that is necessary for a real uncertain world. The EU is far from reaching the 3% GDP expenditure target and stands now at 2.27%. Currently, there are big differences between member states ranging from Belgium with a 3.43% to the six EU countries that stand less than 1%. The lowest one, Romania, with only 0.47%. But the EU falls short when comparing it to other countries. South Korea, the United States, Japan or China are above it, putting the continent in a big disadvantage. Increasing competence between countries and deeper challenges do not leave the EU in a good position, according to the president of the Dutch Academy. We probably need science more than ever because of the complexity of the challenges that faces. And of course, science is always about providing knowledge, uh, providing scenarios. The EPP and the left are the only two parties who call for an increase in the GDP allocated to research and development, even if many others mention the need to increase the role of science.